Hello everyone, Alex here. Welcome to Mauritius and welcome to my channel for today's 15 minute rest day stretch. You know when you wake up from those hard workouts the previous day and you're feeling stiff and tired and sore, you always feel so much better after you've gone through a bit of movement, a bit of stretching, and that's exactly what this routine is gonna be all about. So let's get started. We have 45 seconds on each stretching exercise and let's get started in a cat and cow position. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck under the chin, tuck under your tailbone, and with your breath move between this cat and cow. Let's get some movement through the spine. This whole stretch, I just want you to move through what feels good, what's tight, what's stiff, and enjoy waking up those muscles and improving your recovery on this rest day. And always focusing on the breathing, connecting deep, slow breaths with your movement. Reach your arms forwards, open up the knees and sit back into a child's pose. You've got 45 seconds on each position to be slow and gentle and with each breath you might find a bit more range and depth. And you can keep things dynamic or you can enjoy holding things more static. It's completely up to you to follow what feels good. In this one, think about dropping the chest down low, reaching the fingertips far away and letting your hips sit back. Okay, come back up to all fours for a reach through. So take one arm all the way through, palms facing upwards, drop the shoulder onto the floor. Keep this hand here to support yourself and then just get that rotation and twist through the upper back, the shoulders. I enjoy it here, but if you're quite flexible and ready for more, you can lift this top arm up for an additional rotation if you like. Keep the space between your shoulders and your ears. Long neck, long head. Come up and reach through straight to the other side. Okay, up you come, let's take it to a single arm chest stretch. Reach one arm up and out at 45 degrees, and then sit back and away from that hand. Think about dropping the chest down low, reaching the fingertips away. You should feel a stretch across your pecs and the front of your shoulders. Just be gentle and slow with this. I did a lot of push-ups yesterday in my workout, so I can feel my shoulders a bit tight so this is a great release and up you come and over to the other side same thing on the other arm I like to move through this one to feel the different angles in the shoulders and see where I get the most stretch. Okay. 
Okay, let's come up into a lunge. Step one foot up between your hands. Keep the back knee on the floor. Relax your back toes and then just drive your weight forwards. Allow this knee to come forwards. Get a big stretch in your ankles, your calves, knees and hips. Now lengthen the spine, chest up. Your fingertips can still be on the floor. It could be so simple, I could be so true to you. You were just a lover. In my heart, in my heart, you were temporary. You were just another. You were just a lover. I can bear for you. Okay, keep everything where it is and then just start to sit backwards into that hamstring stretch. You can walk your hands back a little bit. You can bring your toes up towards you and sit your hips back. Make sure you're comfortable and feel that lengthening in the hamstrings. Try not to crouch here, but lengthen through the spine and elevate the chest and then fold on top of that leg. Okay, and rock forwards again, back into that lunge, but this time into a bit more of a hip flexor stretch. So walk your hands up to that thigh and now lengthen through the spine. So now we're back into this great stretch in the ankles and knees, but also really for that hip flexor here. You can stay up tall or even consider lifting the arms up to increase the stretch if you like. Make sure this front leg is strong and stable and active in this position. We're going to take it straight over to the other side. So step back and step the other leg up into that lunge that we did a couple of minutes ago. Relax the back foot, keep your fingertips on the floor, drive that front knee forwards and nice long spine. Don't forget about the breathing like I said at the beginning. Nice deep breaths, nice and slow. Get at least four seconds in and four seconds out and see if you can do nasal only through the nose. Okay, and then from there, we're taking it straight back into that hamstring stretch. Sit back. You can either keep your foot flat or you can lift your toes up towards you. A lengthen spine. This one on my side is extra tight. I've been rehabbing a hamstring injury, so I'm staying nice and gentle on mine. And this is what your health and fitness journey is all about, is understanding your body, listening to your body, don't push past any pain. Release the ego from telling you what you should be doing, what others are doing, and just focusing on what you should be doing and what you can do right here, right now. Okay, and bring your weight back forwards into that hip flexor stretch, back to the lunge, and then bring the hands up onto your thigh, onto your leg, lengthen through the spine, and Stay here if you, if you like, relax the shoulders and lengthen up nice and tall. Okay, let's take it straight into a pigeon stretch. Take that foot back, bring the other foot underneath the body, knee up high, and sit back, relax into this pigeon. Great one for the glutes and the hips. 
Spend the first few seconds just staying up nice and tall, letting yourself ease into it. And if you feel ready, you can then take it lower down and enjoy a deeper stretch. Straight into the other side, hands come down, release slowly out of that position and step the other knee up high. Drop the back knee, relax the back toes, elevate the chest, feel the stretch and lower yourself down if you can. Let's enjoy a nice quad stretch. Come to lay on your side and pick the top leg up into a quad stretch. Pull that shoulder back, open up the chest as well as the quads. Knees towards each other and then ease your hips forwards and get that nice length across the quads. Okay, shake it off and over to the other side, same thing. Completely fine if one leg or one side is tighter than the other. I have this with my quads. So don't try and force yourself into it always being equal. It's completely fine if you need to hold back on one side and just give it what it needs. Okay, let's take it into a lying torso stretch. So laying on your back, bring both knees up, arms out at a T and drop your knees over to one. Whichever the knees come down, and top of the knees and ease them to the floor. See if you can keep your shoulders on the floor and open up the chest and shoulders. Think about the rotation in the torso, in your stomach and abs, and just give in to the floor as you exhale. Okay, knees up to the middle and straight over to the other side. Top hand comes on that knee and open up and lengthen through the torso. Okay, come back up into the middle, into a groin stretch. Bring your feet towards each other, inwards. Open up the knees, open up the groin, hands onto your feet, open up the feet, and lengthen the spine up nice and tall. See if you can relax those knees down.
Okay, and take those feet and legs crossed over into your cross leg position. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in, into the belly and the chest. And deep breath out. Stay here for the last few seconds. This is also a fantastic time, not just to connect with your body, but to connect with your essence, your spirit. Relax the mind, whatever chaos and craziness is going on around you. You've got this time to be with yourself and with me. So thank you so much for being with me. Well done. That is your 15 minute rest day stretch complete. There's a very stretchy, relaxed one. So make sure you check out my video that you can do an active recovery day where you can do a bit more cardio, get the blood pumping and get a bit of a sweat on. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.